And with this drill, they can do as many as they want. Just for demonstration purposes, we're just walking through this. Uh, that was front hand. The next one is going to be back hand. All she's doing is swapping hands. Same thing, ball out in front of her hip. And you want the ball to slide down the cable very smoothly with not a lot of movement. Notice she was stopping the cable in between each one. We don't want to try to hit the ball while the cable is moving up and down. Okay, so she stopped, got it nice and stable in between each one. Okay, so that is front hand back. Notice that when we're doing front hand back hand and she takes one of her hands off her back hand at this point, she is isolating that back hand so it's not anywhere and, and it's actually in the way. This keeps her shoulder in as well. If she swaps to her back hand, okay, front hand is across in front as well and it's not hanging down to her. All right, the next drill that we want slapper as well. Only difference is now instead of having the ball right in her front hip, we're going to have it out a little bit more. That way when she crosses over, she is not trying to get the ball way back behind her. Okay, we're still isolating that one hand, so she's going to start out with her front hand, and you'll see her slap as she goes. Sometimes you're going to have to play around with this and find out exactly where your contact point is. Sometimes it's further out, sometimes it's not as far. All right, the next rule we're going to do is just a simple swing off of the hitting rule. Notice that we don't have to have any tees, we don't have to have any big fancy equipment. All we have to have is just our hitting rope right here. So all you notice that she has her regular bat right here. She can use the lighter bat if she wants to, but for the sake of time, we're just going to kind of go around. show in this segment is that not only can you use it for a left-handed batter, you'll notice when she was left-handed slapping, she was on that side of the rope. Right-handers, all we have to do is just come to the opposite side. So it's great for a team because you can use it and not have to maneuver it back and forth like you do most type of softball and baseball equipment. She's going to do a simple swing. She can still do front-hand, backhand as a right-handed player, but for right now we're just going to do a common swing. All right, also with the hitting rope, not only can you stay right in the middle of the zone, but you can also adjust it to where it's higher or low in the zone. All we have to do is take the turnbuckles off and then adjust it to the rope to where it's down towards your knees in the lower part of the strike zone or up in the top part of the strike zone. To get inside and outside, if we're going to do inside, all she has to do is come forward, ball out in front a little bit more, and to do an outside, all she has to do is step back a little further, ball a little bit deeper in the zone, and we can still work on going up and down the rope. All right, the next drill that we're going to show you is simply front hand, back hand, and even swing off of a knee. You've noticed that we've lowered the rope to right about uh, waist level, and she's going to do the same thing, but this time we're isolating just the upper body and we're taking the lower body out. That way we can see a little bit more if we have any type of hand problems, dipping, chopping, or anything like that.
right, this is the same drill, but all we have is we have now have her bat. What we're doing is we are graduating up, working on a little bit of hand strength, um, arm strength, and things like that. Notice that when she is doing the, her swings, that she is keeping up her bat speed the whole time. We don't want to aim uh, or anything like that. We want to continue to have our bat quick in the zone. You'll notice that she is choked up on the bat. As we get more and more strength in our forearms and in our arms, um, we can slowly go down the bat to get a little bit more strength, work on a little bit more hand speed. She's still doing front hand, back hand. Notice that her bat is coming through the zone very quickly and she is not aiming at the ball or trying to slowly go through the zone. All right, the last one off our knee is her simply just swinging from a kneeled position. She is choked down on her bat to where she normally is. Again, still keeping a quick swing through the zone. Um, very little rope movement at all. The last rule that we're going to talk about is definitely for your more advanced hitter. You can simply have your hitter down towards the end of the rope or a little further up. You as a coach are just going to simply take the ball and slide it all the way down the rope and they are going to try to hit it and hit it straight back to you. This is again for an advanced hitter. Be sure as well that once you are finished with the rope or right before you use it again that you are conditioning the rope with something. We like to use WD-40. Um, you can use some type of bowstring wax, anything that is going to keep it to where the wiffle balls are sliding up and down the rope at a good pace.